Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. Did you guys watch the Super Bowl on the weekend? I happened to catch an hour of it. Uh, it was fun, but I mean, I'm not the biggest sports fan, to be honest, especially not football, but you know, why not join in on the fun? Okay, we got 15 cards to look over today and starting off today's list with Aladdin's Ring from Arabian Nights. This is up 73% from $30.49 to $53, and this is a pretty iconic card from Arabian Nights, which uh, is very scarce when it comes to near mint cards. We have Hellkite Tyrant from Commander 2016. This is up 77% from $20 to $35.62. And one of the main reasons why is because of Goldspan Dragon, bringing a lot of hype into Dragon decks and Commander. And you'll find these two cards in the Ur Dragon and Commander, which is the, the best Dragon Commander in my opinion. And we have Rock of Courageous from Revise. This is a reserveless card and it went up 86% from 526 to 979. And I just love that art. It just looks like it's pencil drawn with a little bit of light color shading. So definitely one of the reasons for this going up is that art because it's very unique. And the next card on our list is Triskelion. And this is an iconic card from Antiquities. And this is up 89% from 106.62 to 202. Now, yes, this is the first printing of this card, but it was printed in a lot of sets, including Chronicles. So uh, do not pay these prices unless you're looking just for this card as a collectible. Harbinger of the Night from Mirage. This is a reserveless card, and this is up 96% today from 458 to 899. Now this card is fairly cheap for under $5. I would I would look to pick one up. You know, you're putting a minus one minus one counter on each creature every upkeep, and it is a reserveless card. Pretty good, and I love that art on there as well. Life Matrix from Legends. This is another re reserveless card, and this is up 114% from $42 to $89.99. Now, you're going to see a lot more aggressive spikes from any of the reserveless cards from the Four, four Horsemen uh, set, and um, this is one of those examples of that. Uh, very, very lovely art, and this product is very scarce. Hard to find a lot of near mint condition cards from Legends, especially the English versions. An ABBA Spirit Crafter from Homelands. This is a reserveless card, and this is up 119% from 199 to 436. Now, a lot of the reserveless cards from Homelands were under $2 recently, but now they're starting to spike. And you know what? People always said that this set was printed to Oblivion, but you know, eventually, if all these cards get bought up, you know, where's the product going to come from? You know, near mint cards are hard to find now. Ivory Tower from Revise Edition. This is up 130% from 694 to 1597. Now, I'm not sure the specific reasons for this targeted buyout, which is what it looks like, because we see this card later on the list from a different set. But if you know anything specifically as to why this is, I know it's actually a good card. You're gaining one life for each card that you have after your fourth card every turn. So that's pretty good. But let me know in the comments below if you know the specific reason. Serendib Dijin from Arabian Nights. This is a reserve list card and it is up 130% from $194 to $449. Now, this is a pretty aggressive spike. This could be a targeted buyout, but it also is based on price listings on TCG Player from sold to listed prices. So keep an eye out for that. Thran Tome from Weatherlight. This is a reserveless card, and this is up 160% from 173 to 450. And if you look at the art on this card, and you look at the set symbol, notice anything? Yep, that's the set symbol from Weatherlight. Very iconic, and it's a reserveless card. Jeweled Bird from Arabian Nights. This is up 277% from 46.23 to 174.50. And this isn't a reserveless card, but remember, Arabian Nights. It's very, very scarce right now, especially near mint copies. And you know what? People are targeting the set specifically for buyouts. Sarah Aviary from Homelands. This is another reserveless card, and it is up 381% from 166 to 799. And Homelands, they said it was a printed to oblivion, but you know what? It's starting to find it, starting to get really hard to find these copies out there in the wild. Sky Shroud Poacher from Nemesis. This is not a reserveless card, but this is up 809% from 264 to 24. Now, I'm not sure the specific reason for this going up, so please let me know in the comments because I'd love to find that out and then throw it into the video next. Ivory Tower from Antiquities. See, this is a, we had the revised edition go up recently, and this is up 1763% from 1873 to 349. When I see an aggressive spike like that, I usually think it's mispricing 
on TCG Player, but there has to be another reason. So please let me know in the comments if you know anything. And here's an example of what I mean about mispricing. This is Moat from Legends, a reserveless card. This is up 6,581% from $1,508 to $100,754. Yes, it is an iconic card from Legends, but the price here is obviously a bit of manipulation on the market based on pricing that is just a little too high on TCG Player. Now, I wanted to go over some cheap reserveless pickups for you, and I'm going to specifically uh, talk about cards under a dollar. That might be worth picking up a few copies. Why not? Because in the future, if they do go up, they will go up uh, by quite a large margin. This is Morn Finn from Weatherlight. This is a 70 cent to 79 cent on the market. So I would do some shopping around, maybe look at some stores online, resellers. Uh, Lishin throw up from Visions. This is a 78 cent card on the market to its TCG average of 94 cents under that dollar threshold. Lightning Cloud from Visions, this is another card under a dollar. This is 93 cents on the market to 98 cents for its TCG player average price from Visions. Great card. We have Ogre Enforcers, another card from Visions, and the TCG market price average is 59 cents to 75 cents. Now, I'm going to specifically talk about cards that aren't Fallen Empires and Homelands here, and we're going to talk about right now Mag Malignant Growth from Mirage. This is a 65 cent to 92 cent card for the market average price on TCG Player. So, again, a lot of cards you can still find for under a dollar that are on the reserve list. Discordant Spirit from Mirage. This is a TCG 74 cents to 99 cents, still sticking with the under a dollar theme. So, what do you guys think about these cards specifically? If it's under a dollar, I feel like it's worth just buying a few and, you know, hopes to see if any real targeted buyouts happen here or you could be part of those buyouts. Barreling Attack from Mirage. This is a 57 cent to 86% on TCG average. Another card from Mirage. All right, so we're going to take a look at a loser here today and that card is The Rack. Yes, from Antiquities. This is down 81% from 55 to 1018. Now, this is a card that was printed in tons of sets. You can find it in Time Spiral. Um, you can also find it, I believe, in 4th Edition, maybe even Chronicles, but it's a card that there's plenty of on the market. And that's why you're seeing that pullback. People are looking for cards that are collectible, uh, and sometimes they realize, well, if you just want to play the card, there is a lot of cheaper copies out there as of right now. And that's going into what I'm talking about with the final uh, market thoughts is uh, during this weekend, I was hoping to see a lot more Kaldheim cards on this list, considering uh, the weekend that we just had was the opening weekend for the set. And no, we did not see that. We're still seeing a lot of reserveless buyouts, and we're still seeing a lot of cards in Arabian Nights and Legends, you know, those four horsemen sets. They're really, really being targeted now, even if they're not a reserveless card. If it's from the four horsemen set, people are looking for near mint copies because if they are near mint in the future, as they continue to rise, they will be highly collectible items and that is uh, just all I have to say here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel yet. I do make these from Monday to Friday so I'll see you tomorrow for another Market Movers and until then have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment and if you enjoyed it that much maybe you'd like to tip me. I have a PayPal link that you can send me tips if you enjoy these videos and I can keep bringing them to you that way and it could help my cardboard crack addiction. So please think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment and I will see you again in the next video.